Okay, it arrived today. Finally, I got an unboxing to do. I gotta get this tape cut open to get the box open here. It just came today. It's a pretty good sized box. I mean, about a three, a little over three foot box. Alright, we got this open. And there it is. This box is going backwards. Alright. Hmm. Obviously, it says El Salvador, so you know where that was made. This is all taped up, so I'm going to have to get that pulled off real quick. Well, here it is, fresh out of the box. Uh, we'll do a quick look over of it and see what we think of this. Okay, here is a look at the carbon steel head of this small axe hatchet, whatever you want to call it. It's more of a hatchet, I guess. It's called the Marbles Small Camp Axe. They got marbles stamped directly into the carbon steel. And this is what the edge looks like on it. Uh, let's do, well, we'll do this first. The axe head looks like it's on pretty straight. There's just like a tiny, tiny little bit of mushrooming. Hardly nothing. Not on the steel, I mean on the uh, handle there. And uh, this side doesn't have anything on it. It's got a polished edge there on the hammer of the uh, axe. Okay, it sticks up just a little bit there. The weird thing is, is on all the videos I've seen of this, it's never had a, like a steel wedge in it. And this one actually has the wood wedge and the circular steel wedge to hold the head on. That's actually a good thing. I can't complain about that at all. Now, is it just me or is this thing straight or is it a little bent? Because in my eyes, I don't know if it's just the grind. I think it's the grind. Like it has a little thick spot right there but let's see here so here's the egg come straight up the camera would focus well the next thing i noticed is this nice lightweight hickory handle on it it's pure hickory and it almost looks like it's been like somebody has already put linseed oil on it because when I see a lot of the videos it comes like unfinished and this is fairly on the dark side almost as if it's already had some linseed oil put on this axe but you can see the grain of the wood is perfect completely straight clear down into the handle can you see that doesn't really veer off at all it's perfectly straight so that as far as handles go is absolutely excellent I cannot complain has a lanyard hole now let's do some quick uh, measurements of this okay right to that little tippity top of the wood you're looking at about 16 inches so it's actually pretty small. And we'll check the length of the head on it. Okay, the head is, hold that down, get that lined up right there, right at six inches. Just, it's pretty well there. So it's got a six inch head it's about an inch thick and the cutting edge is just a hair over three and a half what is that about three and five eighths something like that but not bad i mean it's actually the head of it has more weight than what i thought it was going to have so, overall, 
I can't complain. It's about 16 inches long. Has a four inch head on it or three and a half inch head. It's about an inch wide. Feels like it's, I think they said it's 1.7 pounds. That feels about right. Maybe feels more like about two, three pounds with the handle. But definitely front heavy, like you, which it, obviously it would be. Uh, let's see here. One of these days, maybe I'll get outside and get to take this out and use it. Uh, let's see if we can do a paper cutting test to see how sharp it came right out of the box. Okay. Some paper here. Not really super sharp. Definitely going to need some work on that edge. I mean, I'm sure it's fine for chopping some branches and things like that, but it's not really paper cutting sharp straight out of the box. And this does not come with a sheath. It's just strictly the hatchet and the box. That's what you get. So, I got this off of Amazon. I'm a little pissed at Amazon right now because... I used my Prime, my two-day shipping, and it came a day late. And there was a lot of bullshit going on with the tracking back and forth, saying them saying the post office had it, and the post office saying they didn't have it, and Amazon had it. And then finally today, it turns out that Amazon is the one who had it, not the post office. And it arrived a day late. So, I actually paid more for this, too, in order to get it quickly. There's a lot of people picking these up for $19.99, but you got to wait for shipping, you know. It might take a week or so to get to your house. Well, I paid $36 for this in order to get it in two days, and then got boned. Didn't get it in time for my outdoor trip. And then it's kind of like... Too little, too late, so whatever. But I did order an aftermarket sheath, which I don't even know if it fits, so I'm going to check that now. But here it is. It was the cheapest one I could find. It was like 11 bucks. It says Style and Craft, which is not... I wish it didn't say anything on it, but whatever. It's just raw leather, and I picked it up, and it did come on time. So let me open this and see if it fits this marbles small camp axe because if it does then you guys will know that there's a affordable sheath option out there to go with it so let's see okay there you have it it does fit and it has a belt strap in there so you could wear it on a belt i don't know how easy that would be but uh it's just a raw piece of leather it's got rivets the whole way around it's got some uh, nylon bank line stitching there and, I mean, I'll probably cover over that just because style and craft, but whatever. It's got a double snap here, so you can make it snugger or looser. You got to pull. Look out, see how it's off a little bit? I had to really cram this axe in there and stretch this band for all it's worth to get it to buckle on the first one. So, let's see if I can do it again there. Now it's stretched a little bit. If I put a little oil on this leather and then let it set on the axe, it'll actually stretch and it'll become like a nice fit. But it doesn't make it to the second buckle. But it will make it to the first one. So if you just want like a cheap axe head cover for a cheap axe, I mean this is this is a way to go. Uh, the only other thing, I mean... Let me see. I think the main reason I bought this is I've seen several videos on YouTube. And everybody seems like they recommend it for the most part. But uh, I ended up mostly picking this up because it was recommended by Wrangler Star. He didn't recommend the sheath, I don't believe. But he did recommend the Marbles Axe. I think he said it was one of the better axes under 20 bucks. And considering the wood grain on the hickory handle is perfect, I can't complain about that. I almost wonder if somebody returned this 
this exact one because it almost looks like the handle's been oiled already. And the edge seemed substantially duller than what I thought it would be. And I actually, these are made in El Salvador just like condor knives and axes. And I have a condor axe that I did a review of and it's almost identical. It came about maybe slightly sharper than this, but the condor products come with an awesome sheath. So they're not as as affordable as the uh, Marbles brand, but Marbles is an old American company. It's been around forever, even though their crap's being made in El Salvador now. But I'm not saying it's crap. I mean, I'm sure it's a fine camp axe. But that's all I have to say. I mean, it's nothing to write home about. It was, It is in the $20 category. I just overpaid. Thanks to Amazon Prime. Thank you, Amazon. And this crappy $10 sheath from Amazon, if you crush it on, it will fit. So this is Joe Doomsday signing out.